Baruchem Avon B'Shem Hashem B'Shem Irgin Shir Ter We would like to welcome everyone to today's Shir from Harav Yaakov Zed Smith I'm becoming exempt from a mitzvah Does it work? Amos I ain't p'tur shal oinus The mitzvahs That was great, still sponsoring a Shir Call Irgin Shir Ter 718-851-8651 Or email ist at yeshivan.com Rav Smith this, this time of the year we hear the Shaila where someone wants to go on a vacation or on a business deal and he has to go to a place that there's no minion. So he leaves after Mayrev, he gets there before Shachris, he wakes up, there's no minion. He's an Oynes. But the question is, is he allowed to put himself on a matzah to create an Oynes? If he stays home, he has a minion. So it's an interesting um, angle of Oynes. He's going to a place that he will be an Oynes. We just heard of Shiloh, someone was, had to book a flight, and the flight, there was no laning, obviously. It was a day that he was going to miss laning. Does he have to buy a different ticket, spend more to not miss laning? And as we'll see, these questions go from Hilcha Sitzis all the way to Shalur Chakan and Yeridea, with some, a sprinkling of Yeridea and, and Chayshe Mishpat. I'll tell you another fascinating child that every Rav deals with probably once a year. People that are by weak, and if they fast Saim Gedalia, then they'll, they'll make it, but they rumble to fast Yom Kippur. Are you allowed to fast Sam Gedalia and become an Oynes on Yom Kippur? They don't have the ability to do both. So the question really boils down to a simple Shaila. We know Oynes Rachman Apatre will soon see it's based on a Pasuk in the Torah. The question is how do we understand Oynes as a Pator? Is it a Bidiyeved? Or maybe even a chatchila. In other words, if someone's in an oynis, like the case of Naya Marasa, she was thrust into an oynis situation, there's no child, there's no choice. But can I go to a place that there's no minion and be an oynis? Can I go on a plane and miss laning? Or can I fast on Sam Gedalia and I will have to eat on Yom Kippur? So the question is, is it an option? Are you allowed to do something that puts you in a matzah of oynis? And as we'll see, there are nafkeminas from the Chassidus all the way to the end of Yeridea. So the one thing we should know, that the source of Oynes Rachman Patre is the Parshas Kiseitze, where a girl was forced to do a terrible Aveir, one of the Gimel Chamurais. But since she was an Oynes, Oynes Rachman Patre, The Torah says, Lenaira Leisasa Dava, don't punish this girl. And this is so much of a patur that both the Rambam in Lois Hebrei Sadik Dalit and the Chinech and Tafkuf Nunvov both say if Bezin decides to be quote from and punish the girl, they were Oivan Alav and Atayra. This is one of the Tayag Mitzvahs. That's not from, that's Krum. There's no doubt about it. Oynis Rechmon Apatri is real. But the question still remains. That situation of the Naya Murasa, she had no choice, she was forced into it. Who said willingly we could put ourselves into a matzah that would become an oinus? So the first thing we have to realize is what's at stake. Patura hain, patura her. A person that goes and will have to miss Tfilah Batsibar is losing a lot. The attitude at least has to be not push it. Chacham leiv yikach mitzvahs, but not Chacham Leiv finds Peturim. You know, there's an incredible tshuva in the night of Yehuda in, your, in Tinyana, Yodei Kuf Chav Gimel. So he quotes the famous Chiddush of the Shlach Kaddish, that just like there's a mitzvah of the rice that the count Svira, the Shlach holds a mitzvah for an each of the count, Shiva Nekim Bepeh. Hayyayim Rishayin, Hayyayim Shaini. Now, of course, it's not done. And the night of Yehuda was surprised about the Chiddush, but the way he writes it with such an Eid and such a covet for the Shlach, he says, the Goyen HaKadosh, the Shlob, the Roiv Kedusha Chasidusa, he was such a tzaddik, the Skyim boy, Oyev Mitzvahs, La Yizba Mitzvahs, he didn't have enough Tayag Mitzvahs, so what did he do? He created a new Mitzvah. So I saw a, a new appreciation for Oyev Mitzvahs. Now, Lamaisa, we don't count, you know, Shivan Akim Bepeh, but at least to have a little bit of that feeling, oh, you have mitzvahs, like you have mitzvahs. So why should I want to lose a mitzvah? Why should I take up my tzitzis during the summer? I might be oinus, but why should I do that? That's number one. But more than that, imagine someone takes a job, he's a big uh, contractor, a builder, a $3 million job, and he's all excited. First day in the job, he has a massive heart attack, he rushed to the hospital. But he's, he's going to survive. His son comes to visit him and the father's crying. He goes, Tati, why are you crying? Goes, what do you mean? I lost a $3 million job. He goes, I don't understand you. I learned today in the, in the Gemara, Oynish Rechman Apatre. 
It's not your fault. You have to lay in the hospital. They, they have a job someone else. He goes, oh, you're a foolish child. You don't become rich from Einsim, right? So this, a little more sophisticated, is the big yichide, the yisoid of the, of the shach. In Chayshemish, but Simon Chafal, see if you caught in Gimel. Based on Yishalmi, but to make a long story short, he says, not in these words, but I'm going to use the words that are most uh, powerful. Oynis Rachman Patre is true. But Oynis, laugh commander of it. Excuse Sahin, excuse Sahar. You didn't do the mitzvah. So why should we want to settle for such a loss? You know, like we always say in Yeshiva, you don't stay from, from excuses. You have excuse today, excuse tomorrow, and every day he's, uh, he's Mr. Excuses. Okay, but you don't get anywhere. So this we have to take into account that, you, that when a person has an excuse, even if it works, but you sustain the big loss, try to avoid it. Ah, you might ask, the famous more in Brachas, it's also in Shabbos, but Brachas that Vav, Chishev Adam, Lasteis, Mitzvah, Nenes, V'lo Yasso, Mala V'kosav, Kilo Asso. So you see, you get schar. So we're better than the fellow in the hospital. But stay true with them. First of all, most G'dayle Pais can hold, it doesn't mean you get the same schar. It can't be. He didn't do a mitzvah, he doesn't get schar. But more problematic in our context, this person is going on a vacation to a place that there's no minion. And he's going to say, No, you didn't want to do a mitzvah. If you wanted to do a mitzvah, you'd stay home. If you're putting yourself in a matzvah of oinis, then you don't want to do a mitzvah. So you're not a chishiv lasis mitzvah. And the Maisa we see, and I made a partial list, how many Allah has chazal made to protect the fulfillment of a mitzvah. Don't get lost on the way. Ein mavin ala mitzvahs. Mitzvah al yod atach mitzena. Zriza magdim ala mitzvahs. And most of them are the rices based on sukkim. Mitzvah bal yoysa mi b'shluchai. Do you have to expand the chayim b'shiv in a chasim for a mitzvah? Sometimes machzal apsochim in fact. The point is, the Torah, Halacha, cries out, do a mitzvah, don't find excuses. So it's certainly in the Ashkafa, it's not a good idea to become an Oynes. The Chayodom, in Klaus Samachet, Sif Tezayin, he teaches the Pasuk, Ushmartem es ha mitzvahs, like, like we find in Vayesha, Va'oviv shomer es ha dova. You should be Yoshev, Umitzapa, waiting to do a mitzvah. But don't. Look for Pturim. And the Haredim in the Agdama to the Mitzvahs, Oiz Dalid, he says that Riyah Kodesh was Zoycha to his incredible Hasogis because of his Avasa Mitzvahs. He looked at a Mitzvah we call, that is greater than called Tainik Sheva Oila, and we call Zov, Upaz, Rav, Avanim, Toivus, Magolis. Now, why do I say this all? Because Lamaisa today we will find certain Heterim, but the first step is appreciate Mitzvahs. Try to do mitzvahs, not find peturim. But lemaisa, we do find certain halachas, not just hashkafas, that a person has to be proactive to get mitzvahs, to create mitzvahs, but not to create oinsen. I think in an incredible source, the, the Gemara says, beis, there are seven people, because of their avlis, are menuda min hashemayim. That's pretty bad. That is like, the version put him in cheirim. One of them is, he doesn't wear tefillin in the morning. So, Taisvis, what did that mean? That means he's a Peshaya. So, I understand. Then Taisvis, uh, even, even if he doesn't have tefillin, he's still Mulud Mena Shemayim. Why? Yeshlai Lachzor Ulahavi Atzvah Dechiv. If you don't have tefillin, Ayid get Sechanait, so get up and find tefillin. But don't say I'm, I'm part of because I'm anointed. Go get tefillin. But where did Taisus learn this chiyav? And this is not Ashkafa. This is halacha. He learns a well known Gemara in Saita that you Dalit. The Gemara asks, why, did, why, why was Moshe challenging to go in Eretz Yisrael? What's the he, he wanted to experience the, the exquisite taste of Jaffa oranges. You know. What was he plotting to go to Eretz Yisrael? So he made a cheshbin. There are mitzvahs at Luyas Ba'aretz. That if I don't make it there, it's real, I'm going to be denied. So the plea of Taisus is, Moshe Benu's attitude, Moshe was the, the epitome of Oyev Mitzvis, Lo Yizba Mitzvis. He was the Chacham Lev Yikach Mitzvah, like Chazal tell us. That's a Chiyav on me and you. That's a Chiyav that if not, a person is Mudah Mena Shemayim. And we'll soon see the Pais can quote this Tais Lalach. So there has to be an appreciation for Mitzvis. But... We could do much better 
and regarding our question. Listen to a Gemara that seems to be custom-made response to our Shaila. The Pasik says, there's a mitzvah of standing up for Tamad Chacham, they say the talk of the Atav and Ezokim, we erase him like Yechem. So the Gemara in Kedushan Lamed Gimel wonders what's the juxtaposition of these two concepts. Standing up for Tamad Chacham, Yer Hashemayim, so the Gemara says, Yochol, Yatsum Einav, Mikamei Delem Tezman, Chiyuva. Maybe a person knows that in one minute the Rav, the Rashiv is coming into the base Medrash. He doesn't want to stand up, he's lazy. So he, play, he closes his eyes now. So when the Rav does come in, he doesn't see. And I guess like they say in America, see no mitzvah, you do no mitzvah. <laughs> what can I do? I'm potter. Yochol, you allowed to do that? Tamaloy mivirei simulekecha. The Barsha knows what, what Gwen and Irish got you doing. But the way Rashi teaches, you, you have to be very scared of their Rabbani Shalolam, Hayyadeh Machshavay Secham, Sha'atim Evakesh Tachbulais Lihipotam Mi Mitzvahsay. Why are you looking for excuses to become a Ptur? Keep your eyes open and do a mitzvah. So here we see this very stern warning, Vireis Malekecha is going on someone that's looking to find Ptur. Isn't this mamish what we're looking for? So I'm a very honest person, I have to tell you, it's not really such a perfect raya. Because at this, in this particular case, he's not really a total oinus. He just doesn't see. So if you open your eyes, you could see. He's not like the case that someone goes on a vacation, he ends up in some deserted island, and there's no minion, he's talking oinus. This fellow is playing games. He could open your eyes, you could see. So I can't say it's a perfect raya, but to me, the Pella always was, why should a person run away for this precious mitzvah? Some of the mechazik is a, it, it is a, you have all the gemaan schara betzida. You know, we, 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 we're very, uh, the door of schoolers. But this school is, is legitimate. The Medjish Rabbah and Tezvav Yuzayin in Bamidba has a story that Rababa tried to avoid having people stand up for him. Because he was an honor. He always says, no, let them stand up for you. Because they stand up for you, they'll get your Hashemayim. How do we know? It's a very shaposik. When they say, V'tokim, V'reisim Olekecha. And Taka, in fact, the famous one, Baruch is Chavches, Rabbi Zeira, when he was very shvach, couldn't learn, he would schlep to be smedrish, and go to stand up for the Chamem El Getzchar. So, for example, when he says, in Agra de Pirka, in Ois Shin Mem Hei, he was going to get Zchar? We don't do Mitzvah Zchar. So he says, no, he was going to get the Zchar of Yer Shamayim. Oh, that is very good. So why should a person want to avoid such a mitzvah? I don't know. But anyhow, we see, at least we have a start, that we don't look for kunsin. On that, we have that stern warning, but we could do much better. And that is a question that comes up typically Pesach, when you learn the sugya of baking matzahs. But it's based on Imam Psachim Mem Ches Amit Beis, that there were people that baked matzah and they made very small amounts of dough. So small, there's no chiyah chala. Why? Very posh Because if you have to start dealing with Tafrash's chala when you're baking matzah, you're going to end up having chametz. So the Mora says, that's very nice. That's a nice chumrah ha'asidei kula. You're circumventing the chiyah chala. And this is quoted in your Shin Chavdal Yudal. Listen to the Lashon. Awesome. Lasa is isa pachas mi kashir. You can't make less than the shir. Now I ask you, isn't this exactly what we're looking for? After I make a, a two pound the dough, I have no chiv chala. I mean, this is five pounds is a bracha, two and a half pounds is a suffix. I get a little less than two, or two pounds for sure so is not even a suffix. So what's wrong? I'm a real oinus, I have no chiv. I'm, I'm not even an oinus, I have no chiv. What's wrong? The teretz is, this is what we're looking for. Chacham lev yikach mitzvah. So be a sport and make five pounds and don't worry. Now, the Hilchas Matzah, that's a different sugya. They, they attack a baked matzah and they take off uh, the hafrosha from the matzah, not from the dough. But the point is, it's awesome to do something that will make you an oinus. It also comes to mind, the well-known Gemara in Baruch Islam and Hayim at Beis. The Gemara contrasts the Amolog uh, Zaitan and today. Doris Rishayim would bring in the, the Paris from the front door and the Ochaiva Maisa. But Doris Achreinim were not the same. They bring in their Gagois, Chatseris, Vekafivim, all to Pata from Maisa. Now, Avada, the Gemara is criticizing Doris Achreinim. 
In fact, if you look in the Ein, the, the Ein Yaakov, his girsa is the fichach lein is baruch perasein. The later daris, well, well, they think that's outsmarting the bench of chas v'shalom, but they won't get benched. Now the question is, it's a pasuk. This the halach of go, coming in from the back door. There's no chimais. It's based on a pasuk. It's not a, a mishigas. So what's wrong? The teretz is, this is the problem of making tachbulos. And if you look at the Me'iri on this Gemara, he says, the Issa is, why are you looking for Pturim? Well, you can make a mitzvah. Rab Chaim Kanyevsky in his Derech Hamuna in the fourth parak in Hilchas Maisa, he quotes other Paiskim that say a different reason we'll soon see, and that is, even if there's no Issa Shaboy, but the fact that you're not looking for mitzvahs is an Idna Rizcha, we'll soon see what that means. But no doubt about it, it's wrong to do something which makes you a pure Oynes. No Chiv. But Chacham Lev Yikach Mitz is not Yikach Pturim. And then we have another factor that we must deal with. And this is a Gemara Menachis Mem Aleph. The Gemara says the Amalach met Rav Katina and he asked him, Katina, where's your tzitzis? So he says, well, I'm not wearing Dalek Hanfa, he said, I'm no Chiv Tzitzis. But where's your tzitzis? So if Katina was on the fence, he goes, well, do I get punished for not to, I'm, I'm no Chiv. The Chiv is we have Dalek Hanfa. So he told him, that when the person is angry, you get punished for not going out and buying down confites and putting on tzitzis. Now this is what's referred to in Allah, idna rizcha. Idna means time, rizcha means angry. And the place can throw this around. We'll soon see a lot of different examples that it might be mutadud, but idna rizcha. What does idna rizcha mean? This gemara. Even though right now you have no chiyav, he has no dollar confites. But you could, but you could be proactive and buy the Alkanfais and put on tzitzis. Now this is an even bigger Chiddush. Because Nabshah, he's made up tour. He didn't do anything. He's just not wearing the Alkanfais. Our jackets, our shirts don't have a Chiyot tzitzis. Why should I wear the Alkanfais? Yet the Pais Gim say, the Ben Yoyna, in Shari Tshuva, the Gimel Chav Beis, what's the Oynish of Eid Nerischem? Ashtolei Chomad Bulevava Yoyfi HaMitzvah why don't you go out of your way and create a chiv? The Charedim in the Agdama, he says it's lav daf ketzitzis, it's mezuzah and other mitzvahs. How does he know? He says, look in Taisis, psachim kufnit gimel amad beis. So he connects in the rischa to Moshe Rabbeinu that wanted to go into Israel just to get a mitzvah. That's a powerful combination. In the rischa, Moshe Rabbeinu. Now this is a, probably a bigger chiddush because he doesn't have a chiv. Not he, 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 he takes a, a chiv and, and makes it into a p'tur. The Shulchan Aruch and Yeridea Simen Chav Ches Siv Chav Aleph Misha ain't lay off the chasos. He doesn't have. He wants to shecht, which is mitzvah the raisa, but he has no offer. So we would say just shecht. If you can't do kisui, oynis. So the mechaber lo yishchait. Wait until you get offer. Now here we could wonder, why, why can't he do a mitzvah now? And if there's no key uh, uh, for him, he's oinus. The terrors that we see over and over is, part of Chacham Lev Yikach Mitzvah is, Eizeh Chacham Arayis Hanoilet. Don't just do something, and, and you have to see the outcome. You're going to shech, that's beautiful, but you're missing a mitzvah of Kisli. You're not going to wear tzitzis, you're missing a mitzvah of tzitzis. So here we see the Yisoy that we're looking for in a very clear way. Even if you might be potter, there's no chiv. But you have to see the result and be more proactive and create the mitzvah. One more you say, and then we'll apply it, I'll be saying the Shulchan Aruch. And that is unfortunately a pretty common shayla, especially if you have A person it comes at 8 o'clock in the morning, it's close to ready to Zman Krishwa, and he's sleeping, you know, he's mamish not ba'al mahadein. You know, we call him in yeshiva, he's a DNR. Do not resuscitate. I mean, you'll push him, you'll shake him, you'll push him out of... So, you go over to him, you know, 11 o'clock, he's still asleep, you go, what happened to you? You, you, you miss Mount Krishna, Tefillah, you miss everything. He goes, what do you want for my life? Don't you know the Gemara? I was sleeping, I'm a heavy sleeper, I'm not Baal Mahadein, I'm, I'm pot. So he's obviously wrong, but why is he wrong? I'll tell you what. Because maybe at 8 o'clock, when he went to sleep just a half an hour ago, he can't wake up. Or two hours ago, like some people, they, they run around the whole night, and they go to sleep late. But the problem is, why did you go to sleep late? Why did you go to sleep without a plan to wake up? Now, that's a concept that we find throughout Chayshim Mishpat. 
And that's called Chilose B'Pshia B'Soyfe B'Oynes. It's a Chayshemish with Reish Sadik, Aleph, among other places. But the, the, the Yisoyed is, it's Lav Dafa Chayshemish, but it's, it's an attitude in Shemayim. We know that Allah is a person that goes to sleep, and in his sleep he does damage, is Chayiv. Why? Ademud Oylan. I, when he's sleep, he can't be held responsible. But the Taisis points out, when you go to sleep, if you know you're active in your sleep, or you're destructive in your sleep, I should say, you got to make sure nothing is in your vicinity. In fact, Taisis quotes to Yishalmi, let's say this, this destructive fellow goes to sleep in his bed, and there's nothing near his bed, because he's very careful about that. Someone comes and puts down something next to his bed, so the mazik is pata, because there's no tchaseh b'bshiyah. So here we see very real tchlase b'bshia in, as an attitude. But we could do better than that. I think I found the custom-made rai for our DNR individual. The mishten ava is perigimel, mishten yud gimel, sheinah shel shachris, sleeping in the morning, is one of the things that's might see in his adam in the oilam. Now that's a very you know, harsh um, accusation. He gets taken out of this world. What did he do wrong? <coughs> so Rashi and the ben yoyna <coughs> on their mishnah say, he sleeps late, and this is man krishma, or is man tefillah. I have to realize, you know, it, it shouldn't be just he missed man krishma. I always am the spoil, Adma oid. The Mishnah Chagiga Daftes speaks about the pasik ma'uvis la yuchal liskoin, something that is irreparable damage. What is that? So the Mishnah has two examples. Nebuch is mazana, and he has a son of mamza, the biggest korban. Or he's a son who perished, he was at ben and he went off to derech. Rahman al-Islam. The Gemara Daft Testament Beis adds, I have two more examples. He misses this man Krishna, or he misses man Tfila. Bittle Krishna Shashachris, he misses the, 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 the mitzvah of Krishna Shashachris, or davening. And this speaks volumes of missing one's man. One's man is comparable to a Mamza, to a Shano Pirish. They say, someone to a Baron that Rabbi Soslanta once missed the first man Krishna, and he fainted. The Baron says, Nishdemis. So, why can it be? He was a very sensitive person to Krishna. So, Nisht Emes, he missed the first man. And then, that is Emes, he didn't faint. <clears throat> so, this, I think, this Mishnah that holds him accountable, I, maybe he was an oyen, maybe he couldn't get up, he was so bombed, like they say in the yeshiva, he couldn't get up. But, Hagufa, Chilasei B'pshiyah B'saifa B'oynis. And if you want to see this, I found Bez Hashem, the Karen Ladovid, in the end of Simon Yudches, he has a whole beautiful shayla about waking up someone who's sleeping, but he says, when the person went to sleep, bepshia, either too late, or without a plan to wake up, or both, then you have to wake him up, because then he's a peshia. And chilose bepshia besoi fei ba'oynes. So let's have what we have so far. Oynes Rachman Apatre is real. Mamish. But oynes lav commander ovid, a numerous halach is to protect from oynesim, a person to go after getting mitzvahs, but we proved from a number of sources, closing your eyes by Tamad Chacham, not to make less than the Shir of Chala, Peris Der Gagis Chatzerai, Salachas of Shechita, that is Pashit wrong to do an Oynis that patters you from mitzvahs, besides Tchilosei Bepshia, Idna Rizcha, and of course the Ik is Chacham Leif. Now let's go, I'll be saying the Shulchan Aruch. <coughs> so we'll start in Yonah Diyayim, it's also the first in Shulchan Aruch, and some people find it very hot, especially days like today. And uh, he wants to take off his tzitzis. So he'll go with the regular clothing, no dal kampais, and no tzitzis. <clears throat> so the truth is he didn't do anything wrong, technically, because he's not being mavat la mitzvah. But this is mamish al gemar menachis id rischa. <clears throat> now, I'm, I know Tyson Erechen, the Abbeis and Madbeis, says that Bizman Hazen, Tyson's time, where they, the derech was not to wear dal kampais, that was their, their dress code, so then it's not a Idna Rizcha if you don't wear the Al-Kanfos. Now that's Taisa Chiddush, but I want to say Rabbi Yoyin, was also a Rishon that's at that time, and he says it is Idna Rizcha by Tzitzis. Also, the Beis Yosef, in the beginning of Simon Chav Dalet, quotes Taisvis, that maybe today there's no Idna Rizcha if you don't wear uh, Talas cotton, but Zog Taisa, remember Taisvis in Psachim, Zog Beis Yosef, remember Taisa in Psachim, Kufit Gimel Amad Beis. In other words, minimally, we have the problem Yeshle lechazer acha hamitzvah. Rav Moshe and Chelik Dalit Sim and Dalit. He was asked about this shaila, whether it's too hot or playing ball. We'll soon see. And he says today 
since the Minig Yisrael is to wear tzitzis every single day, also the Shum Adam take off a tzitzis even if it's hot. He says, and also, he says it in, 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 in Yiddish, so felt this ice time him, like also time him to the Minig of wearing Talos cotton. If the Gemara gives great chshivas to the mitzvah, and then he adds, plus, don't forget, Idna Rizcha. <coughs> now this was, it was interesting, when Moshe doesn't quote the Toysvist in Erech and Avbeis, but could be held, like I told you, today, that since everybody wears Dalit Kanfais every single day, that the Beged, so maybe we're back to original, that it diminishes to wear Dalit Kanfais, and don't take it off. But the Maisa, the Oznidru has a beautiful discussion, Chelik Beis, Nun Hei, this very Shaila, about taking it off to play ball, and he discusses, even though Tai says that there is no Idna Rizcha, but there still could be the Idna Rizcha, like I told you, and also Taisvis. Now, people say, yeah, but I play ball in it, the tits will get, to get all sweaty, so I have a very simple Eitza. Wash them. <laughs> Boys don't know that, you don't want to, you know, it's, it's not, not appropriate for Ben Torah to run around without, without tzitzis. So play ball, get them for Schwitz, wash them, and it's good. A tragic Shaila, and that's not an understatement. I saw like four times in history, in recent history, this Shaila. They asked the Chabina Rav and Chalik Alam Tzadik Tess, it was the year 19 uh, Tavshin um, Tzadik Dalid, where someone had a contagious, yeah. tough, tough race, tough, tough race, I'm sorry, where someone had a contagious illness. And Lamaisa, he was quarantined, and he was, he was going to get better soon. But the protocol was, he left the hospital, everything he touched, he had to, they had to burn. No exceptions. And he wanted to know, could he wear tefillin? Ramayisha had the same shayla in Tav Shin Dalid, and the tshuvas, Alev Dalid. It's a whole string of tshuvas. The Min Chazitzchak and Gimel Gimel and Tav Shin Yud the same shayla. And they all take this, and this is a tricky shayla. Because if you say he can't wear tefillin, so you're telling a, a, a pr pretty much healthy person to be like a kafla monach tefillin for weeks. So they all take the same stance from different angles, and Ayin Sham is that even though right now you're doing a mitzvah, but if inevitably they're going to burn the tefillin, it's more than an oinus. It's more than a, I'm sorry, it's more than a grama. It's a ma'is to be a dayim. And therefore they all agree with Raya's, better don't wear tefillin than have tefillin being burnt. Now this brings out our point in a crystallized way. He's doing a mitzvah Hashem Shemayim. First later, it's going to be burnt. But why stop a mitzvah now? The Torah says, the Yisoyed of Yiddishkeit is, Eiza Chacham Reis HaNoilet. Now, the Chalkas Yaakov, in Archaim Yudzayim Yudchesim Yutes, this is in Tavshin Chav Dalid, he is Meikul, Ayin Sham, but I think he's a lone voice. But definitely, the point that we see is, that Lenayr Lassasa Dova is B'diyavet. But to go put on tefillin and cause it to be burnt, that's not a qualified oinus. <clears throat> now, Lamaisa, the, this, again, do you see this point? Even though right now, there's no, there's no Avera. It's, you can't do a mitzvah now because of eventuality. Okay. Question. Someone is sleeping, again, a summer child of a Shani Yeshiva camp, and it's five minutes to this man Krishna. If you don't wake him up, he's going to miss his man Krishna. Right now, he is in the dream world. Should you wake a yid up to do a mitzvah? So this is a Gemara in Brachis Yud Gimel. Rab Nachman told his Eved, when it becomes time to wake to say Krishna, wake me up, be mitzayah me. And it's quoted in Shulchan Aruch Sim and Samach Gimel Sif Hey. Rav Ozna and Chey Lechess, Lamed Ches says it's from Shutim, that he is going to miss his man, you wake him up. Now the Shevet HaKos, he is a, is a, a, is a Belzer Dayan, Zayin Gizun, and he says, people say in Bells, they say, don't wake up a Yid for anything. So he goes, my Zayda was very close to the Belzer Rav, and he heard from the Belzer Rav, Baral the Belzer said, that don't wake up a person for, for, for no reason, but to miss man Krishma, Avadi, you wake him up. So people like to quote that. They say, are you a Belzer Chassid? No, so why are you telling me? People like excuses, ah, bells or whatever. But even what they're quoting is misquoted. It wasn't talking about somebody's going to miss this man. So that's why, Lamaisa, loy me boy, if the sleeping person is a tchilosseh b'pshia, you have to wake him up. But even if he wasn't a tchilosseh b'pshia, or you don't know, but, oh, he's going to miss him, it's mitzvah yikar. So wake him up, and I'm sure he'll be thankful. <clears throat> a trickier question is a person wants to go on a vacation, or a business trip, 
and he's going to end up being very far from a minion, not within Dalit Milan. In other words, can he go now, and he's a lamb, and he does it right, a David Mayrif, 10.30 at night, there's no Chiyav Shachris, he goes, gets in the car, ends up in some deserted island, wakes up in the morning, I'm an Oynes. <clears throat> so this is Mamash Elul Sugya. Why is it different than making Chal less than a Sheer, and, 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 and Maiser, bringing in Maiser, and, and the side of Kisi Adam, Ah, you'll say, but how could it be also now? There's no Zman Krishna yet. It's not even Zman Tzvila. So that's wrong. We, told, we proved conclusively that's wrong. And indeed, you see, in Simon Sadik, or Chaim, Sif Yuzayin, after the Machab and Sif Tezayin says how far you have to go to get a minion, Dalit Mil, he says, Kolshkein, don't leave your home if you end up in a place that you're going to be Potter. Zok de Rav, in no uncertain terms, even if he leaves before this man of Tzvi, he leaves in the middle of the night, if you have a Mayrev, you don't do those things. <clears throat> Why? Zil time. You're giving up a mitzvah yukar. Rav, the Minchas Yitzchik Chaylik Vav, Simen Lamed Zayin, it's getting here under the Yoyimah, he proves this from a passage we just learned yesterday in Baloischa. Because people that were with Tommy Mace could not do Kav and Pesach, what was the head to the metamah to the mace? Gzer sakosiv, oisig mitzvah, patam and a mitzvah. So the minchas yitzchak, and let's say you don't have a gzer sakosiv. They have a mace mitzvah now. It's not yet Pesach. Do a mitzvah now, and you'll be pat al pisvar. The teret says no, no, no. Even if now there's no chi of carbon Pesach, if you do something now, it's going to cause you to be pat later. It's wrong unless you have a gzer sakosiv. Zok the rav, why? So listen to his words, it's good to hear this. Even though Tzvila B'tziv is a mitzvah midevreyem, he gedoyel a mitzvah seishel al toyram, hoyel makachim bo Hashem berabim, you'll not even free an evet, a deraisa, to create Tzvila B'tziv. So that's why it's clear, we saw the Gemara Gedushin also. He closes his eyes before the time the Chacham came into the room. So it's before the Chi of Mitzvah. And that's why Taka... Rabbi Shleim Azal, Ali Chashleim, Mechel the case, Simon, Peri K, Siv Dalid. He says it's ain't a ro. You will soon see why he says that to get on a, a go someplace if you won't have to feel a betzibur. Rav is a little more emphatic about it. Mechel the Vav, Simon Chav Aleph, and he says that poshet be'enai. If you go just for a tainug for a pleasure, it's us. The Shoyal wrote to him that he heard of Gedolim that went on vacation, Tatcha, they used to call it, or whatever, Marinbad, all these different resorts, and they didn't have a Tefillah Batsiba. So he says, first of all, who said they didn't have Tefillah Batsiba? Second of all, maybe they were Choylem, and they had to have total rest. Ah, you might tell me of a certain Tzaddik that didn't, that was perfectly healthy, and just went for the pleasure. So he writes, like a little, uh, interestingly, maybe he wasn't a Tzaddik after all. <laughs> Yeah, it's Kitzadik and Kei, Lo Yishamanu. But what, what was a real wake up call, and that's an understatement, two volumes later, Chelik Ches, in Simon Samaches, he writes about a Mikra Oyoim, an incredible story. Someone went on vacation, and he had to do it with Kedasu Kedin, and he ended up in a place that somehow he made a mistake in what day it was. He must have crossed the date line, but there was no Yiddish guy in the, in the area. So the whole Shabbos he went touring the, the area. Sunday, or Erev Sunday, he, he made Kiddush, and he davin, Shabbos, Bikitsi, he's Mechalo Shabbos, the whole family, and Nashim Nashim Vataf. Sunday he kept Shabbos, Brachos, Vatalos, Galore. And then he found out what he did. What kind of heavy tshuva does he need? And that's why was his tshuva. But at the end, he writes, and by the way, if you would have davin with Minyan, it wouldn't have happened. <laughs> You pull up, to a, pull up with a car to a shul on Shabbos, you, you know, you'll be told. So it's, it's, it's a wake-up call, but it's a reality. You know, the, the precious tefillah b'tzibah has to take center, center stage in our lives. Now, Rav Taka Rav Deshev and Alevi alludes to that, but the, the Archa Shulchan points it out. If there's a real tzayrach, let's say a tzayrach of, pan, of gezunt, Archa Shulchan says even a tzayrach of panasa. He has to go make panas for a family, and he has to go to a certain show in China, whatever. I don't know what's doing there today, but let's say there's no minion at that point. So there's a heta. But stam latil and tainuk ba'alma, you can't do that. And to our eternal credit, I know Yidin, I know one year in particular, an extremely successful lawyer, a prominent lawyer, and he flies the world. He's the most frequent fl- fly I've ever seen. 
But he told me, by him, Tefillah B'tziba is Chok V'lo Yavar, and it's already 54 months, that's four and a half years, that he didn't miss Tefillah B'tziba once. Because if he does, he has so many knusses that he has to give, it's not worth it. So he reschedules flights and changes appointments and, and does everything, not to miss a minion, 54 months, Yisrael Kedosh. Question. Important question. Someone that, it's important, even though it's not negated today, this child, but the aside is very negated to us. Someone was in jail, and they gave him one opportunity to leave. Whatever you want to go. You want to go pray, once, and that's it. They asked the Radvaz, the Dal, Simon Yud Gimel, which day should he go? So it was a big machloikis. Some say, Yom Kippur, you should go. Some say, Shabbos, uh, Zohar. And some said, uh, Megillah. So the, the Radvaz writes and dismissed them all. They tried, but they made a mistake. You know what you have to go? Right now, Mayriv tonight, or Mincha today. Al Tach Metzena. Aim of Yenala Mitzvahs. Now the Chacham Tzvi, in the Tshuva Simon Kovav, he feels differently, and he says, you have to make a cheshbin, you have to weigh mitzvahs, do a bigger mitzvah. But all I can tell you is, Mishtabur and Simon Tzadik, if God and Chavches, quotes this Radvaz. Now he does send you to a Chayodam that somewhat modifies it. But here we see, in Mabin al mitzvahs in a very pronounced way. You give up a Yom Kippur, a Shabbos, uh, Shabbos Zohar, or, or, or a Megillah, because, don't worry, now you have no heta not to daven. Ah, you're going to mail them, you're going to miss Megillah. You're an Aynas. Question, I had this child more than once. Someone, Rahman had a, a difficult, he couldn't talk. There was a growth of a pal, palip on his throat. And the procedure was, if he doesn't talk for quite a while, he, it will heal, it will shrink naturally. Otherwise, it's a surgery that's not too safe. Bikitza, he can't talk for a few weeks, you know, which is great for Shmir Saloshin and certainly for Shalom Bayez is good. But what do you do about the Rises? This davening, this Krishma benching, Mamash the Rises. So the question was, he's undertaking this treatment, he's putting himself in a matzah of oinus. But what I was thinking, and I talk, I think it's a good sush tale. I heard this one of my rebellion on Enikul Rav Shimon Shkup, like a long time ago. Rav Shimon Shkup had the following shayla. A child was born, and there's something very wrong with his foot. It was a deformity. But since he was just a newborn, they felt if they could operate immediately, they would correct it. But if they left it too long, it would solidify, and he would have a limp the rest of his life. So what was the shayla? If they make the surgery right away, they'll, they'll save him the difficulty of limping. But they won't be able to do Mila Bizman. It was a Ben Zacha. You can't do two, two operations on a child. They would have to delay Mila indefinitely. So by, ta by taking the surgery, which is basically elective surgery because it's not a Pekuach Nefesh, he's losing the Mitzvah Mila. So Rabbi Shimon made a Cheshbin that a person has to give only a Chaymish of his Nechassim for a Mitzvah. How much is it worth for a human being to walk naturally and not limping? So therefore, he has no chiyav meal at this point. And Reza Pella, recently I found Avni Neza, in Yeridea Shin Chavalov, has the same shayla with the same maskana. Could be, I don't know if it's the same shayla, I don't think it stems uh, historically. But no doubt about it, this case is not an oinus. He has no chiyav. The Ramayish and Chaylik Aleph Kufayim Beis has a similar shayla. Someone had a mental illness and he was put into a hospital and they corrected the problem. But they needed a few more weeks to make sure he wouldn't come back. But it was Erev Rosh Hashanah, the Esher Moshe. If we take him out to hear Shaifa, because there's no Shaifa in the hospital, he'll lose the whole effect. He'll go back to Tishtus. So Moshe said the same thing. How much is it worth a person's sanity? It's worth more than a Chaymish? He's part from Shaifa. So that might be a different angle. Shad is he's not at all Chayiv and Amitz. Next question, the Koyin... On uh, Shavuot this morning, Davin's Vasikin, he's pushed it tired, lazy, he says, you know, I can't do it, I'm too tired. I have a great idea, I'll walk out, they call Kahana Matia, and he's right. If he's not there by the Kriya, he's not allowed to do it. But he forgot to look in the Bialacha. The Bialacha on that Sif quotes a, the Chemed Moisha, that even though if he walks out, he's Potter, but you created a Ptur, and that is Idna Rizcha. Zok to be alocha, and don't forget, Tois and Psachim, Kuf Yud Gimel Amud Beis, that you have to be Chacham Lev Yikach Mitzvah, not Yikach Pturim. Now, again, this is a raya that even making an oinus before the Chiv 
is also also. Missing a f- uh, laning, when you catch a flight, missing laning, is the same thing like missing, uh, in a certain sense, fila but tzibor. If it could be avoided, about it should be, if there's no other choice and he's going for a refuah or a panasa, there's a tzad to be mekel. I should say there's another tzad to mekel also perhaps, maybe more than, than tefillah but tzibor. If you go with the sheet is that it's a chayvas tzibor, maybe the nevada chayv. But, but the problem could be, chayz v'neir, if on the plane there's a minion davening, so once you have a tzibor, so you came with a pator from your house, but now you have a tzibor. So Lamaisa, if there's no minion, certainly you have that tour as well. Someone was came, ate with an oilam, and he wants to go on Bazar for Zeman. He says, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave. So I'm an oilam, I didn't hear I didn't hear Zeman. That's foolish. First of all, you have a chi of Zeman, and that's in the risk to run away from a chiyah. But besides that, the Shukhanarach and Kufza, the Gimel, Sifala, based on the Gemara, it's also to leave before Zeman. So besides the chi of mitzvah, is an Isra the Rabbanan to leave before Zeman. Question, someone has to go through, undergo elective surgery, which means it's not pikuach nefesh, it's up to him to decide when. He thinks the best day to do it is Friday, because it's a half a day at work, and Shabbos will recuperate, and Sunday's off, and Monday's back to work. But there's a problem. And that's called, not a problem, there's a schus called the Halakha Shabbos. If he takes a surgery on Friday, he's going to be ois mensch on Friday night and Shabbos, and where's the Einik Shabbos? Now, even though when he went into the surgery, he didn't do any Issa, and even though it's only Friday now, not Shabbos, but doing something Friday that's going to make you an Oynis from Oynik Shabbos, he's all in pain, is wrong. How do I know? So it's Kemar Abeferish Gemara. The Gemara in Shabbos, Dafiotes, Shechonor Reish Mem Chesif Aleph, it's a whole Simon Kemar, that a person now to get onto a boat from Wednesday on, why not? What's when going on a boat Wednesday on? Because those days the boat wasn't a yacht. So either he will get seasick and not be able to have Oynik Shabbos, or there will be Pekuach Nefesh because it wasn't as safe as it is today, or maybe Chutz Tatchum, Gansa Sugis. But at the end of the day, the Mechaba, based on a Gemara, to get on a boat, listen to this, Wednesday morning, is awesome, is Chilol Shabbos, because it will end up Causing bittel oynik Shabbos on Shabbos. Now this is Mamish, what we're looking for. He's going behet to Gama Wednesday, but in a Yid's mind, Wednesday is the beginning of Shabbos. In fact, Mr. Brewer spells it out in the Sifkat and Ches and the Agdama to that simon, that from Gimel Yomim Koydma Shabbos is already Shabbos. So although the, the boat Shaila is not so much the gay to us, but the Shmir Shabbos in Lamed Bey is Lamed Gimel, and I saw also the Orchai Shabbos in Perik Chof, Sif Samach Tes and Sif Ayin. He says, but the same principle applies to taking elective surgery on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday if it will cause a bit learning Shabbos. Now, of course, they both point out if he needs the surgery, he's a Chayla, then you don't wait. But if it's a question of, again, elective surgery or Today it's um, um, dental work, he has to take a wisdom tooth. So you pull out a wisdom tooth, Friday, Friday night he's going to be yelping, you know, yelling in pain. And can't eat. So we have, based on how we saw it from an unbelievable angle, Wednesday and onward we have to think about Raya Sanoilid. So that's why these type of things, unless there's uh, compelling reasons, why? That's the Allah. In fact, the, the Shulchan Aruch says we don't daven weekday needs on Shabbos, we, we eliminate the, 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 the Gimel and Tzois. Why? Because you're going to think about Rafain, what's going to cause Tzar? And to quote the beautiful words of Tanchum in the beginning of Parash Vayera, we don't have the weekday Shemaneser on Shabbos. Why? Because it's Metzayah you. And Shabbos nitna le Kedusha, le Oinig, u le Menucha, ve loy le Tzar. So we have to be, we have to be keep Shabbos beginning from Wednesday. But certainly on Erev Shabbos. I mentioned that Pashit because the Maisa people travel to the mountains on Friday afternoon. They're not, they're not home a whole week. They're not with their family. And they leave it to the last minute. And it becomes a harrowing experience, racing the clock and trying to make another light. And they come to the mountains and they are, their nerves are frazzled. They're ice mensch. The first person that misbehaves is going to get all of his frustrations. That's not Ratzon Hashem. That's not Erev Shabbos, you know. Erev Shabbos makes the Shabbos. 
come early, that you could rest up and enjoy the time that you have with the family. It's pushed. It's, a, it, it's pathetic that the Shabbos becomes, a, he comes in and he's spent and he's done. That's not the Ratzon Hashem. Question which became a popular Shaila, people don't want to clean for Pesach, so they sell the whole house. So technically, if you sell the whole house, so you have no Chiyah Badika. But that's the problem. Why are you being Mafkia Chiyah Drabana Badika? So the Rabbanim that will allow this will make sure you have some form of Badika that you can make a Brach and a Kayim de Mitzvah. Question. A Yom, Yom Tiv she, Rishon, let's talk about Shavuos as a good example. This year Shavuos was Wednesday and Thursday. So Wednesday had a nice suda. Wednesday afternoon he's hungry. It's a long day. So he wants to have an Oynik Yom Tiv on Wednesday afternoon, 7 o'clock. He'll have a nice, uh, he's ready, ice flesh, he'll have milk, he'll have shvug, cheesecake, he'll have a coffee. Have a beautiful Oynik Yom Tiv. Problem is he's going to come to Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Wednesday night, he has no appetite. So we find in Shulchan Aruch, Tafkuf Chavtes, that, he, that you shouldn't eat Erev Yom Tiv because you'll ruin the appetite on Yom Tiv. Zog Tim Agan Avram, a few words, Hu Adin Yom Tiv Rishon L'Sheini. Our Shaila. Don't eat Wednesday afternoon, you'll ruin Wednesday night. Freg the Bialacha, a very logical question. I don't get the analogy. Bishleim and not to eat on Erev Yom Tiv or Erev Shabbos. There's no mitzvah to eat on Erev Yom Tiv or Erev Shabbos. So eat minimally. So doing a Rishos ruins a mitzvah. But here it's just the opposite. Wednesday afternoon is Yom Tiv Rish and Daraisa. Wednesday night is at most Yom Tiv Shani. How do you push over Daraisa for the Rabbanon? Now he doesn't argue on the Magen Avram. He just wonders out loud like what's Pshat? More so in Mr. Bura, Tov Ayin Aleph, he's caught in Tezayin, he quotes the Mogan Avram. What's the Pshat? Has to be Pashit, Efshel Kaim Shneim. Eat moderately and go into Yom Tiv Sheni and have a Suda. Gachoiz Mizeh Vagam Mizeh Atanach Yodecha. Ay, Lemais, let me eat and not worry about tonight. But tonight is also a Yom Tiv. Now the Das Torah, the Bajan Rav, and Awa Simon points out something very important. If you eat 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, but till you finish the oven, especially Shavu says it's so late, you'll have an appetite, so it goes on to hate. Also, and this is important, when we have Yom Tif Shechal B'Shabbos, and Rosh Hashanah is the prime example of this, so most people barely have time for one Suda. But how do you get two Suda, Shalash Shudas Nachtetsu? That's really challenging. If you do it, but it's going to be right close to Yom Tif Shani. So Hashem, in that case, have Shalash Shudas. Because you have two Daraises in one day. Yom Tev Rishon, Mashana, and you have Shabbos, and you have Shalash Shudas. So then eat just to be Yaitza, so to speak, and hope you'll have a, an appetite for tonight. That's one case that all agree you have to do it. Question, we discussed this just a few weeks ago. People that go to the Kaisal, they don't want to rise Kriya, so they have all sort of kunsin, they mock that they've gotten to someone else, or they mock the, the Beged, hoping that once it's not mine, there's no Chi of Kriya. So we discussed the halachic aspect that's wrong, because it doesn't work. But besides that, this would be a real Idna Rizcha. You're finally having a feeling of Masabu Yishalai, and that also you're, you're, you're eliminating. It's certainly lacking very much in a, in a very important expression of Masabu La Yerushalayim. <clears throat> the big question that I mentioned earlier, a person who is weak, and if he fasts Yom Gedalia, he won't be able to fast Yom Kippur. So it's not a simple Shaila. Because right now, as Yom Gedalia begins, he is healthy. He has no Tur Oynes. What's he had to eat? Ah, you'll miss Yom Kippur. So don't be the Bar Shalom's lawyer. You have a chiv that bought it to fast, fast. If Khalila, you won't be able to fast Yom Kippur, Ayin Shachman of Patri. But then again, that's how a whole sugya, Chacham Eina Baraishai, Raya San Oilid. So Reis Apella, the Buchacha in Tuf Reis Beis, he says that you have to fast on Tzim Gedalia. He compares this to the Radvaz, that I mentioned earlier, that if you, have, if you have one chance to leave jail, go right now. So here, right now, Sayyim Gedalia, fast. What's going to be later? The Baruch of Atelfin. That's what he wants to say. However, the Orchus Chaim, the Spinker, in Simon Tov Reish Beis, quotes this Bichacha, but he quotes it, if I don't have an oil moid, that says also it's totally in the Machleikis, Radvaz and Chacham Tzvi, but he says that Lamaisa, it makes sense 
that Yom Kippur is Yom Kippur at the end of the day, and don't fast Yom Gedalia and fast Yom Kippur. The Prima Godim, it's the end of the Psicha Kailelas, Sivkal Hamal Kadarka, in a few words. He says, if you have one mitzvah, a one's the Raisa version, one's the abundant version, then wait for the Deraisa. Now that's Mamash Yom Kippur, because both are fast. Some of the others are fast, Yom Kippur is a fast. But how do you compare Sam Gedalia to, to Yom Kippur? Now, Lamais has a lot more to say about this Shaila, but I want to tell you, the Gedalia, Poiskim, Ashapim, Anuchayim all agree, Lamaisa, if it ever happens, don't fast Sam Gedalia and fast Yom Kippur. And many others. I would just add another knife, I think it's true. Every normal person, even an older person, could fast Sam Gedalia and then Yom Kippur. What's the problem? This person, there's something wrong in it perhaps now. He's a shtikl chayla now. So maybe that's enough of a chayla to pat to him from Sam Gedalia. Yom Kippur, he could make it. Question, an interesting example, is Chalamoye trips. Now, Baruch Hashem today is a Shadar, every amusement park has a sukkah, but going back a few years ago, you went to some uh, you know, exotic trip, there's no sukkah. So there are places that say you could eat even a full blown meal out of the sukkah. I, what about sukkah? But you are halchei derech. You left your home. There's no sukkah in sight. So halchei derech is pata from sukkah. Teishu kein tadur. And that's the simple approach to the shayla. Rav Moshe in Chayla Gimel, or Chaim Simen Tzad the Gimel, he says it's asa say mitzad alocha. Because if you go, when you have to go on a trip, l'moshul for panasa, or from a Kabbalah Hey Rabbi, then you could say, I'm Halchi Derech, flash the Oynis card, and I'm Potter. But who said, for Stam Teal and Tainik Ba'am, you're allowed to go Halchi Derech and be exempted from a sukkah? And then he added, and besides that, you have a problem of Idna Rizcha. Going on the Chalamoy trip is Menachis Daf Mem Aleph. Rabbi Yashiv in the Tshuva Chalik Beis, Lamed Zayin, does not mention Idna Rizcha, maybe because of Tais in, in, in Erechin. But he says, the problem is Taisim Sachim Kofi Gimel Amid Beis. Look for Mitzvahs, don't look for Peturim. And Rabbi Zalman in, 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 in Halicha Shleim on Sukkot Tes Chavalev also says, for the reason that it's not enough of a ju- justification to become a Hol Derech. Now Lamaisa, Rav Moshe, in a later Tshuva in Eben Ezech, Dalsim Lamed Beis, someone asked him, he went to Eretz Yisrael just for Yom Tiv. He only has one or two days to tour, and he has to go back after Yom Tiv. It's not just teal and tainik ba'alma. It's ef sheb oifanacha. So Moshe says, if that's taka the case, if there's no other choice, then maybe you're allowed to. In other words, he's not limiting it to pikuach nefesh, necessarily. If it can be avoided, then it should be avoided. But again, you see the, 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 the toikif of this attitude. Don't look for p'turim. Even though the end of the day, hal derech is a pasuk. I mean, it, it, it's teishu kein to do. It's legitimate heta. Question. Someone drank heavily Purim afternoon, late afternoon. Obviously he missed Mincha and Benching and Mayrif. Afterwards he said, but I'm not, I don't feel bad because I was a patre. I was a shikha. So he's wrong because the Alacha in Tafrei Sadeke quotes the Chayyadam that even though there's an Indian to drink, but if a person knows he'll miss even one Mitzvah that Abana until it's Yadayim or a Bracha, he shouldn't drink. No, if he drinks and he missed Mincha, benching a Mayriv, that's what was the Yuchaliskai. I, Lemaisa, he was an Oynis. So this is a classic Chilase Bepshiya. You drank so late in the afternoon, what, what were you thinking? You know what the Territ is? He wasn't thinking. But the Emesis, it's more specific. Because both the Yam Shashleim of Avakama Gimel Gimel and the Bach and the Tshuva Samach Beis ask, we know that Allah is a Shikha, even Kaloit, who's a, who's, who is a Shait Lechol Dava. If he does damage, he has to pay. How could a shaita l'chol dova be chayiv to pay? So they both say, not for the damage. They're the chayiv to pay. Why did you become a shikakalite? Chilasei b'pshia b'saifei b'ayinis is why he's chayiv. We saw in Yeridea a concept, if you don't have offer, then you can't shecht. Azoi the, 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 the inability to claim the ayinis, even though he's doing a mitzvah. Today, Bar Hashem, we have this, this, this opportunity, this parents living longer, and parents need children. 
So occasionally we have a shy, we hear a shy, someone wants to move away and leave his parents behind. But they need him. So the Allah is pretty clear. The Gemara says in, in Megillah, and it's Kapas and Reish Mem and Yud Gimel and Yeridea, if he leaves to go learn, God will tell him to keep it of aim. But if, if there's no heta of Limer Torah, then he has to be there for his parents. But we see a little more than that. The Yushalmi and Peya, Perik Aleph, Halacha Aleph, it's a Mavel de Goloshin. God will keep it of aim, that the Barishlam has more of a, gives more of a chiv keep it of than Kvoi Doi, than Kvoi Ramokim. Because Kvoi Ramokim, mitzvis, Kabbas Hashem, Mahay Necha, only with what you have. But you're not going to keep the Magza al Psachim. But for keep it of, I feel like the Magza al Psachim. You have to go collecting to help your parents. Your parents don't have money, and you don't have money. To go collecting to help parents. So the question is, how do we understand that? He's never going to own his gomor. So the Ram Shik, in the Chuvar Archaim, Shin Lam Nalf, a biggest story for our Sugya, he says basically, when someone has a Chiyav to the Banish Lailam, the Banish says, okay, more than a Chaimish, I'm Moichu. But a chiyah ben adam lechaveri to someone else, ki'ilu kaviyochul, the bar is not a good to be anam's cheshben. I'm going to pat to you what you owe someone else. And since the Yishalmi calls kibarov a priyas balchoy, the same Yishalmi, so he can pat to himself with oinsin. It's a new, a, a new part of the sugya of oinis. A chiyah to someone else, you have to do. You can't show flash the oinis card. You know, I, I, I'll explain this with a, a beautiful Rab Chaim Briska. In the Rab Chaim on the stencil, in Ksubis, it's Peivov. I'm dramatizing a little bit, but this is what Rab Chaim means to say. Imagine someone owes you half a million dollars. He doesn't have a puts in the shum. And he's, you're, 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 he's, you're afraid you're not going to see the money again. One day he's all excited. I just learned the Gemara, Priyas Baal Chayiv Mitzvah. Is that true? Yes. I have a mitzvah to pay you? Yes. I hope he's give you the money, right? You know what he says? He goes, great. I also learned the Gemara that a mitzvah only have to give a chaymish. I don't have any money, a million half million dollars out of my chaymish, so I am potter, I'm never going to see you again, and he runs off. What's wrong with that taina? So Rab Chaim and that shtickle says that, pre, that the, the, the het, the tour of chaymish is when you have to do a mitzvah and with, with your own money. Then chaymish is a cap. But here, you have his money. In other words, you, you're Meshubah to him. So that works both in Kibbutz and of course in Priyas Bal Choyv. We mentioned the Halacha, that standing up for a Tamachacha, that's a great, great example, besides the school of Yerushamayim. We also mentioned in Shulchan Aruch, Yerudeh, Shin Chavdal, Yudal, the Yenalada make less than the Shir Chalab. Now, punk yesterday, two days ago, someone asked me, they have a bread maker that makes two pounds of bread, not more. That's okay, because you're not doing it l'mafkiyad, you can't do it any other way. A person brings his mezuzahs into the cipher to check. Wonderful. What about the time till he gets them back? How's he living in his house? People say overnight is a problem. Love dafka. Every moment's a problem. What's the heta to bring your mezuzah to the cipher? You're going to be hours, maybe overnight also. So taka some people, they, they hire the cipher to come down to the house and does one at a time. But there's no chiv to do that. So Pasha the, the, the Hezber is that there really is no Issa to live without a mezuzah. That's where we paskin. So we have no, more than that, this is a tzorich for the mezuzah. The burst of the of us twice in seven days. So that's not a problem. But let, twice, in seven, twice in seven years, I'm sorry. But the last question, and you see, Saif Master Machshav Atchila. The Pischei Tshuva on the page in your day, Reish Sadik Beis, was asked the following question, which is a summer shayla. You're walking along the road, minding your own business, and you spot a kansipar. There's mother, there's eggs, a perfect mitzvah. But you don't know the halachas, you don't know what to do, you don't need the eggs. You say, you know what, I'm not getting involved. You keep on walking. Was that right or wrong? Now the truth is, people are housing for this mitzvah, they'll pay big money for it, but I'm not getting involved in that, that part of it. So, Zog Tepis Chei Tshuva, and Simerej Sadik Beish, Luach HaKan, Chari did nothing wrong. Because it says, if you want to take the bonim, or the, the eggs, then you have to do it. But then he says, based on the Zoya, the great schus of, of, of Kansipar, maybe he should do it. But then he quotes the Mishnah's Chachamim. But especially, if you remember the Gemara in Menachis Mem Aleph, Idn Rizcha, this punishment for not doing a mitzvah, then make sure you do the mitzvah. So that's Saif Master Achshav Atchila. 
the beginning and the end, we have to realize, Chacham Lev Yikach Mitzvah, I go and talk to you all. Huh? Yeah, I'll do the next week. Do you get it? Yeah, oh. It's a shame you can shoot a like your biggest character at Smith. If to the Tere Shir. Uh, Be'ez Hashem, there'll be one more shear before the summer. We'll give out the schedule after uh, in a few, few minutes, after the Sikram or before the Sikram. And um, the Ishmael is making an appeal for the Nail Amor, for the Ishmaki air conditioning, electricity, we have a the Mitzvah, the Tzara, the Rabbim, and the Tfilas, the Rabbim. Rabbi Lamela Klitnik is in the back, and that's got him for the Nail Amor, of the Mishtat of Tavala Brocha. On a certain level, but we also see, based on the Pasuk and the Torah, but to apply that, there are many Allah that protect the Kiyama Mitzvah. Certainly, we have to be righteous on earth not to end up in an Oynis. So we definitely don't look for Oynsim, as we proved from a number of mitzvahs, the mitzvah of Kima, the Yeresa, don't put yourself in a matzav of Oynis, the Issa of making uh, less than a shir of Chala, the Allah of circumventing the Chi of Maisa, or the Allah of Shechting without Kisi Adam, it all leads to the same conclusion, don't create an Oynis matzav, unless of course there's no choice. But it plus, there's a fact of Idna Rizcha, Rahman al a very scary concept, and that's why we don't do mit, we don't do things to bring us to an oynis. Besides, chelase b'pshia, the seifer b'oynis is a chiyav, like we saw from the, the Mishnah of Shainas Shachris. There are few few good reasons to wear tzitzis, even if there's no issa not to wear tzitzis because we don't have dal kamfois. But even during the summer when you play ball, we should do it and appreciate the mitzvah. The tragic question of a person that wears tefillin, but he has a contagious illness, will have to be burnt. That's an example of Raya Sanayil, and he's pata, or also to wear tefillin, because he will end up burning the tefillin. Waking a sleeping person for a mitzvah, krishma tefillah, is a, is a good thing. Either it's plasa bashi and he's chayiv, or minimally it's lav kamanda ovid. Going to a place that there is no minion might be mutter for a fool or business, but not stam just for a vacation. And we saw even before the chiv, you can't leave because you're ending up being an oinus. Just the, as we saw a person that has a problem with a palate, he could undergo the treatment, he could try to find ways of doing it, shmei koin, of course, but there would be a tour because it's more than a chaymish to be able to talk. A koyin has to, wa- to walk out only if he mamish can't do and stamp because he's, he, it's hard for him, he's lazy. Then he has to worry about oynis, the, idne, the oynish of idne rischa. It's an issa to leave before zimun, that's an independent issa, regardless of any other oynish situation. Elective surgery or dental work should not be done close to Shabbos if it will stare the Shabbos. Shabbos begins as early as Wednesday. Friday afternoon, if you go to the mountains or any place you go, leave early enough to make sure that Shabbos will have the Kedush that it's supposed to have and the Shalom Bayis that it's supposed to have, I should mention. Sell the house and Pata B'dikas Chametz is wrong. At least keep one room to make the, the, the mitzvah. Eating Yom Tev Rishon should be avoided if it's going to interfere with Yom Tev Sheni. 
and Efsel Kayim Sneim. If a person is, is, is weak, let him eat on the same Gedalia, but not miss Yom Kippur. Chalamoy trips, there is an Idna Rizcha, unless there's a good reason to go. Drinking Purim that will cause losing mitzvahs is wrong. Chalasay Bipshia. Shechting that can't do Kisui, don't Shecht. Kibarov is a Prius Choiv. And even if it means Machzal Apsachim, paying a debt, there's no tour of Oynis. Standing up to the Tamachachim brings here a Shemayim, and we should cherish that mitzvah. You're allowed to bake two pounds when there's a good reason, that you're dafka not making five, not because you're patting the mitzvah. Checking Muzuz of the interim, you're allowed to live in the house. And Shalua Hakan is a precious mitzvah that should be observed. We're going before next week, I guess. Good.